Hey everyone, Nick McClure here, Century 21 Farm and Forest. I'm here in Island Pond, also known as Brighton, Vermont. I'm going to show you this colonial style house. We've got five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and we're on over a hundred acres of land. We've got some nice open land around the house, a little field beyond the trees, some fields across the road, nice stand of spruce, and we've got this lovely pond. Um, take you inside and then maybe we'll finish up on the exterior. All right, welcome inside. So we're in the formal front entrance. Got the upstairs there. This is a Vermont slate floor. There was a closet in this corner which was removed. Um, so one could either redo the flooring in here or put the closet back. We head in this direction. We've got a really large living room. Nice wood floors. Crown molding and lots of natural light. Got window, one window on that side and then a triple window here. This is looking uh, pretty much west. West is kind of in that direction towards the pond. So you're going to get some nice sunset views. Got the dining space, which is also pretty gracious. Kitchen here, this little area to prep food and lots of counter space. Updated stainless appliances. LED lights. So this is an Eden kitchen. You get a nice little breakfast nook here. I guess we'll peek at this now, but we've got laundry on the main floor, nice broom closet, or could be pantry. We've got a half bath. And then we pop out into this basically little workshop, could be a mudroom or something off the back of the garage. At this lower wall here, you know, we're probably about just under six feet of clearance. And at the upper end here, oh gosh, gotta be nine or so. so. Uh, there was a little bit of, I think, prior ceiling damage here from prior to the new roof. And then we have the garage, which has a brand new garage door. Back of the chimney there, concrete floor. There is a heater out here, but it's currently disconnected. All right, so my favorite room on this level is the den. Really great trim detail. Some bulky crown molding up top. Nice thick baseboard. Really nice trim package in this bedroom and this room. It also has the wood burning fireplace with a custom mantle. All right, we'll take you upstairs next. So here I am, top of the steps. We turn to the right, we have the primary suite. Nice views looking out over the land. Pretty gracious room here. Makeup station. Another closet. And then we have full bathroom. These tubs could be refinished if somebody wanted to go to the more modern all white. Um, there is a local company that uh, basically refinishes them and can make them white or gray or whatever you want them to be without having to go through the expense and hassle of replumbing and replacing the whole tub. To the right is probably one of the smaller bedrooms, but still pretty decent size.
Just got a double closet there. Zigzag across the hall. We've got another bedroom. Linen closet and the guest bathroom. Bedroom is a little larger. Dual windows. Another closet at the end of the hall. And the fifth bedroom. I think that wraps up the house. I think I'll finish up outside with a couple of uh, feature shots of some different areas of the property. Okay, so now we're down in the basement. Got probably about seven foot ceilings down here. All concrete. Dual oil tanks. Oil hot air boiler. Looks like three zones. Electric hot water heater. Got some heat down here with this Modine. Pressure tank there. Septic drains out that corner. Overall, pretty clean basement. There is a floor drain here, so if ever water were to come in or there's a spill or need to drain a hot water heater or something like that, it's nice to have. All right, so now we're outside. Got a nice little covered porch here with a slate there on the floor, brick surround. This area was recently excavated because there was a new leach field put in. Uh, leach fields actually beyond those trees into the next little field. But an in-ground conventional septic, which is great. The backyard here, the property goes well into the trees. Start to see the roof over the garage here, which appears to be in good shape. Got some apple trees. What a lovely day. Do control all of these trees here and you can see some of the ridge lines beyond so you could really have an expansive view if you choose or you can keep it kind of nestled in like it is we are at the end of the town maintained section of the road so the town plow turns around right after this driveway the road does continue um, but it turns into a privately maintained uh, I believe there's one house and another cabin beyond as well as some other land so pretty quiet out here, not far from uh, the main road and not far from Island Pond itself, the center of town, as well as the pond. Um, great recreational opportunities here. Uh, great area for snowmobiling, ATVing. All right, guys, now welcome to uh, truck view. So I'm inside my truck and I'm going to give you an idea what the land is like. Um, so if I spin around here, That's basically going to be the end of the property that we're looking at. And we'll pan back around. And it'll take you for a ride. Hopefully it's not going to be too bumpy. So, uh, both sides of the road. Actually on the right, starting right at this pink ribbon. Pretty mixed woods. Got a mixture of you know newer growth, growth timber, certainly some older mature timber, hardwood, softwoods, uh, spruce, fir, pine, maple, birch. There's 
several small streams that cross the property. There is a right-of-way down to the left here. See a cable across the road and that goes down. That's within the property, but uh, right away that goes across the property down to a neighboring cabin. A soft wood stand here to the left. This opening we're about to come into is where the town plow turns around, so from here back is town maintained. Um, I do want to just give you a quick peek at this little stream. Nice clean clear water coming out there. And then we've got back up to the house, the pond just above the road. Again, we're continuing on both sides of the road here. There's the house. And more nice softwood down here. Several fields. So we've got a nice field on the right side, which would be the east side. Another nice meadow on the west side. Powers right here along the road. Guess I better buckle up. Our left here, there's a nice little apple orchard in the field. And this house with a red roof, this property actually wraps three sides around it. So I believe we're no longer on the left or right side of the road here for just a little bit. But we're going to pick up back on the right after we get beyond this house. We're back to the property now. Got a nice stand of cedar. Probably an old log landing up there. Nice trail. And now we're coming to the end of the property. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you did, there's the final pin right there. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. This property is listed for 399,900 over 100 acres of land and a five bedroom house. Great deal. Thanks for watching.